17th Asian Film Awards, Jiang Kankin and Zhao Liang won the award, Tony Lung Chuai and Wu Kangren were defeated. On March 10, the 17th Asian Film Awards was held at the Hong Kong Zikwa Center. At this year's Asian Film Awards, Japanese filmmakers performed outstandingly. Best Film and Best Director were given to Hamaguchi Ryusuke's Evil Does Not Exist and Koreeda Hirakazu who directed Monster respectively. Koji Yakasho, who previously won the Best Actor at the Cannes International Film Festival, won again that night, defeating two powerful actors, Tony Lung Chuai and Wu Kang Gyan. The Godzilla 1.0 Inches team won Best Visual Effects and Best Sound respectively, Aiko Ishibashi won Best Original Music for Evil Does Not Exist, Ryohei Suzuki won Excellence Asia Filmmaker Award. Mainland Chinese filmmakers also made some achievements at this year's Asian Film Awards. Jang Kinkin won the Best Actress for The World of Grass and Trees. She gave an acceptance speech and said, Thank you to the movie for letting me know the world, life, and myself. At the same time, she also thanked the actor Wu Lei who played her son in the film, Thank you to my rival actor Wu Lei, thank you for being willing to enter the world with me. This hell is also our paradise. After the news came out that Jang Kinkin won the award, Wu Lei posted on Weibo to express his excitement, My voice has become hoarse. Congratulations to Sister Kinkin. You deserve it. The Avenue Generation Award at this year's Asian Phil Awards was awarded to another mainland Chinese actor Zhao Liang. After winning the award, she said, this honor is an incentive. It encourages me to film well, perform well, and work harder to participate in good films. In the movie. I love movies very much, I love drama very much, and I love acting even more. I am the actor Zhao Liang. That night, Zhang Yima received two awards, one for the highest grossing Asian film in 2023 and the other for the Lifetime Achievement Award. It is worth mentioning that the best screenplay this year was awarded to the late Tibetan director Wan Metsedin. Wan Metsedin died in May 2023 due to a sudden altitude sickness, and the award-winning film Snow Leopard is his legacy. The big star is coming. Zhao Liang, Yang Mi, Zio Zun and other stars gather together, who will be the focus? Dear melon-eating friends, have you heard about it? The new drama Pomkwa starring Liu Shishi, Dao Zio, Zhang Yuchen, Zhuan Lu and other stars has started filming. Are you excited and excited after hearing this news? Don't worry, I'm going to give you a detailed inventory of the lace materials of this star blockbuster. First of all, on the day of the startup, the entire crew wore clothes sent by Liu Shishi. This lady is really generous and decent, and she also set a fashion model for us melon eaters. In Reuters with makeup, Yi Pingin is as beautiful as the breeze blowing on her face. She is simple and generous yet exquisite. There are also a few small gourds hanging uniquely around her waist. This is to bring Pingan's artifact all the way to the show. What about inside and outside? I really look forward to the scene of Pingan practicing medicine with his artifact. What's even more interesting is that behind the scenes footage of the filming has dropped, giving you surprises one after another. Unexpectedly, Tan Kensi is also online, showing off his charm one by one, and the lines of his arms are simply enviable. If this was a shot of showing off his muscles, the screen would probably be broken. Speaking of which, are you already unable to hold back your expectations for this drama? But wait, don't forget that Ziozon's The Legend of Zhang He is also waiting behind. The director narrates the play to him, and every time he can draw nutrients from the characters and the crew. This is a serious collision, and we are full of expectations for this play. Hey everyone, it's your turn now, which star are you most looking forward to in this show? Come tell me in the comment area and let's support their new work together. On the night of the Asian Film Awards, Zhao Liang's embarrassment overflowed the screen. Zhao Liang, who was filming with peace of mind and missed a series of 85 Flowers Group activities, made a rare appearance. The Asian Film Awards, founded by the Hong Kong International Film Festival and jointly organized by the three major Asian international film festivals, opened in Hong Kong, China. Stars such as Zhao Liang, Li Young Yi, and Charlene Choi appeared at the event, attracting a lot of attention. But for Zhao Liang, this film festival trip was not a complete one. After many years, she unexpectedly experienced newcomer treatment again. As a newcomer in the film industry, the organizers did not treat Zhao Liang as a big shot. She is always perfunctory. Although Zhao Liang is very popular, she still encounters embarrassment everywhere, and even her red carpet style is not satisfactory. According to the usual practice for domestic entertainment stars to participate in activities, the studio will release photos of the stars in advance and reveal the on-site styles in advance. This time, Zhao Liang's studio has not updated it, so that it has become a hot search. 
Only when Zhao Liang's red carpet style was exposed did we know why the studio delayed releasing the pictures. It turned out that Zhao Liang only borrowed a pair of opsies in high-definition clothes this time, and it was already March 2024. Celebrities who are well-paid can wear spring and summer 2024 at school, but Zhao Liang is wearing a 2023 autumn and winter haute couture. Even if compared with Zhao Liang's own past treatment, it is enough to see that her active status is embarrassing. In June 2023, Zhao Liang attended the Magnolia Awards ceremony, but she wore the same brand's high-end clothes of the season. The fashion circle knows best about red tops and whites. In the domestic drama circle, Zhao Liang is a first-line celebrity, a popular 85 flower, and a popular candidate for post-production. In the Asian film industry, Zhao Liang is just a nobody and can only borrow an out-of-season haute couture dress. Not only was she treated perfunctorily by the brand, Zhao Liang also encountered a lot of embarrassment during the red carpet live broadcast. The only film that Zhao Liang has been successful in recently is Article 20 directed by Zhang Yimao. She didn't have many roles, and she was questioned for stealing the limelight from the hero in Mali. I don't know if it was to avoid further controversy, Zhao Liang and Zhang Yimao simply walked the red carpet separately. But when asked about the director she most wanted to work with, Zhao Liang once again mentioned Zhang Yimao. Combined with the Article 20 controversy, it seemed a bit embarrassing. Comma if you don't have any works, you have no confidence. Even when Zhao Liang came on stage, she was a little timid, folding her arms and actively showing a flattering smile to the host. Unfortunately, Zhao Liang's overtures did not receive a response from the host. The Asian Film Awards invited film practitioners from many countries. The red carpet host was quite busy. When it was Zhao Liang's turn, their attitude could not be said to be bad, but it was indeed a bit perfunctory. While Zhao Liang was still answering questions on stage, the male host next to her looked down at the platform from time to time to pay attention to the next process, which made her embarrassed again. What's even more embarrassing is that not only did the host in front of the stage didn't take Zhao Liang seriously, but the director behind the scenes didn't take Zhao Liang seriously either. He cut away the camera while Zhao Liang was still on stage. However, it is not recommended to be too harsh on the director. After all, the reason why he cut away the camera was to film the former Asian Film Award winner. You must know that although this movie queen has many controversies and is a bad artist, she is more famous than Zhao Liang in terms of the thickness of her works. It is not too much for the organizer to shorten Zhao Liang's scenes and arrange them for her. Including the seating arrangement at the award ceremony, it can also be seen that Zhao Liang's status in the film industry is awkward. Sitting in the front row does not need to be considered. She is really morally unworthy. Sitting in the back row with Chen Jai and Ben is a bit strong praise yes, Chen Jai and Ben is the best actor. Does Zhao Liang have any film awards and works that she can win? Finally, I also recommend Zhao Liang and the netizens who like her to calm down. If Zhao Liang is simply regarded as a celebrity guest, the Asian Film Awards will be held all night long, from the red carpet to the award ceremony, and her embarrassment will overflow the screen. But if Zhao Liang is regarded as a newcomer in the film industry, she has actually received preferential treatment. She has to fight for her own face. If she wants top treatment, she should work hard to produce excellent film works.